and adjust your TV sets. Welcome to the blue turf of Bronco Stadium. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Troy is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Pass complete and taken down immediately. They'll bring him down around the 27-yard line. I love to see this, Brad. These cornerbacks have the toughest job in college football, and that's to cover some of the fastest players on the field, the receivers. And for a corner willing to come up, get off of his block, and make a play to disrupt the run, that's as good as it gets if you're a defensive coordinator. Going deep. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Richardson was the intended receiver on the play. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. He's tackled at the 40. There just wasn't anywhere for him to go. Sure, he didn't go backwards, but this return could have been a lot worse. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Five wide. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. I mean, he has his wide receiver wide open. You spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go. You got an open man like this, just step and deliver and make the throw. And he throws right away. And it's intercepted. And down he goes around the 41 yard line. It's a good play when the corner can break up a pass, but it's even better when he can bring it in for an interception. From their own 41 yard line. First down. Tackle at the 44 yard line. Madison gets around three on the half pack draw. That makes it second and eight. He's taken down at the 48. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. And he's taken down at the 49. Call it a loss of three yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. From their own 49-yard line, it's second down. Tackle made right around the 50. That's a gain of one on the play. Left, left. That brings up third and 12. Three down, three down. Mike 41. Quick pass. He's tackled at the 45 yard line. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. Touchdown. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Boise State's defense got the stop they wanted on that first drive. Now let's see if they can do it again. And just listen to this crowd, Brad. I mean, you can practically feel the energy coming down from the crowd and how it's impacting these players. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. From their own 20-yard line, second down. That's a great tackle at 
the 28. Walker makes the tackle at the 28-yard line. Now again the 32. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Number 58 breaks it up. That'll make it fourth and two. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. He got hit hard. You know, a lot of people in college football might find these types of games boring, but you look at the start of this game, this is good old-fashioned football, partner. I agree with you, Brad. I think sometimes you look at games, and if it's sloppy offense, that's one thing. But when you see two defenses go out and play with a great deal of emotion and dominate a football game, sign me up for that every time. Right down, right around the 46-yard line. What a play. Just a simple option play here. The quarterback gives it up, and they get good yardage. Great play. Get out, get out. Get out, get out, get out. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Number eight, the intended receiver on the play. It's second and ten. Ball on the 46. Up the middle for a nice game. Game five on the play. That'll make it 35. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Normally you look for the pass in those kinds of situations, but a very alert play stopped that run short of the sticks. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. Boise State could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and it's good! The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. The Broncos are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Right? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when you're getting shut down. There. It's it out to his receiver in a hurry, and he hits him hard at the 39. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. And he's tackled around the 48-yard line. That brings up second and one. He gets hit out of bounds at the 45. Willis picks up about seven on the play, and the completion is also good for a first down. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. He can ask for much more than that. Gets it out in a hurry. Great catch there before they can knock him out of bounds. That's just a great call by the coordinator there going to the air on first down. run there as they work the outside. Game of five yards. That brings up second and five. Big play and it's first and goal. Gain of nine on the play. First down and they've got their nine eyes on that goal line. Zips it to the tailback incomplete. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Well, I think he came down with it, but from up in the booth, it's hard to tell. So the referee is going to take a look at several angles. Now remember, he's seeing the same thing we are, and he needs indisputable video evidence to overturn the call. To review the play, the rule on the field is reversed. 
So they'll overturn the call and rule this a completion. There was a bad call made on the field, but they were able to fix it because of the replay. This is exactly why the booth review is a great thing for college football. Touchdown, Troy. Things can get pretty fierce in this territory, but they look totally in control there. And he tacks on the extra point. So a seven-play, 76-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Look at the scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. That's a loss of five yards. That'll bring up second and 15. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on their own 20. Takes the ball inside. And they make the stop at the 23-yard line. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Field. Gets to around the 42. On the ground, up the middle. Gets out to around the 32. Run up the middle. Oh, the of six yards. That brings up second and five. He fights forward to about the 26. No gain. That'll make it third and five. Third down again. hit immediately. Kicks away, and he splits the uprights. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalked up three points for the offense. 7-6, Troy. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20, at the 30, the 50, and he's brought down at the 46. The Trojans really taking care of business early in this football game. Yeah, somebody forgot to tell them that they're the big underdog in this game and they're supposed to lose. I love their confidence that they're playing with right now. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Get to that quickly. They'll bring him down at the 41. That's good for five yards. That brings up second and five. Troy with a one-point lead. He fights forward to about the 39. The 
35. Call it a gain of four yards. First down. Three down, three down. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. Steps out of bounds. Right around the 32-yard line. He's scrambling, decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Tackle around the 20-yard line. That's good for a gain of 12 yards. First down. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. Number 87 is the intended receiver on the play. From the 20-yard line. Second down. This play is number eight on the drive. Going for it all to the end zone. It's the safety who's in the right place at the right time. The quarterback has to know where the safety is when he makes this kind of throw. Right here, he just tried to force something that wasn't there. First and 10, ball on the 20-yard line. to the halfback on the screen. He's taken down around the 28-yard line. That's a game of four on the play. That makes it second and two. Mike five, Mike five. So at the end of one, Troy leads it 7-6. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. rid of it quickly and that was almost picked you never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that good effort by the defender it's third down and they're about two yards shy of the sticks tackled after a decent pickup they didn't try to just force something there just good hard running for the first down This is the 10th play of this drive. Nice run up the middle. Makes it to the 11. Second and one. 
gets to about the eight yard line. They get nice yardage on that run. was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. And he adds the extra point. It was a 13-play, 81-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Boise State kicked this one off. Thompson from the one. And down he goes at the 28-yard line. Right, this has been a great game to watch. A lot of competitive spirit out there. The offenses seem to be going up and down the field. Back and forth we go. I think the winner will be which defense can make that pivotal stop to secure a victory. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. That's good for a game of 14 yards. That makes it first and ten. The back has it, and he dropped it. I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. From their own 42-yard line, second down. Gets to about the 44-yard line. Makes the first down catch. He's tackled in the open field. Call it a game of 21 yards. First down. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's taken down around the 24-yard line. Young brings him down at the 24-yard line. First down. Touchdown, Trojans! He is such a talented, skillful back, as you saw right there. What makes him even better is that these coaches know how to use him. The kicker on the field, he'll try to put his team up by a point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Troy is ready to kick it away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. He takes it right side for a good game. Takes the give. Runs it left for a decent game. Makes the tackle. A game of four on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. He makes it to the 35-yard line. Under heavy pressure. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. And he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. They tried to get a head start there. False start, offense. That penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out Still there, it's down. bound to happen occasionally. Now it's second and long after the penalty. Down, 
Gives it off. He fights forward to about the 33. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. That'll make it third and 13. He lets it fly. He's got it. Tackle made right around the 26-yard line. It definitely put them in better field position. And I just have a feeling that they're going to punch it into the end zone on this drive. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. And he's met in the backfield. Loss of one on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Here's the eighth play of the series. The Broncos wide out, out with an apparent injury, although he might make a comeback before this game's over. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start, offense. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they can just keep down. their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. Second down and a ways to go because of the penalty. Picked off. It's the cornerback. Makes the interception. Really impressed with this guy's closing speed on the ball. He's got the kind of jets you need to be a standout corner. Troy up a point. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. They line up at the seven. It's second down. Gets out to around the 15. They show pass and then hand it to the back for a pickup of eight yards. Looks for his running back incomplete. Pierce will be the return man. Pierce takes it to the 49. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Got it to his man on the screen, and he's tackled at the 40. Russell with the tackle at the 40 yard line. That makes it second and eight. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. That makes it third and 11. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. They hook up over the middle. He's tackled right around the 38-yard line. Number five makes the tackle at the 38-yard line. Fourth down. Boise State can take the lead here with this field goal. Kick is up, and it's wide right. No good. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Troy is up one. That's 
a great tackle at the 46-yard line. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. And they make the stop around the 48-yard line. Six yards. First down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. There's a strike complete. Brought down at the 43-yard line. Five on the play. That brings up second and five. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. And 14 yards. That makes it first and ten. First down, ten yards to go. Ball of the 29. There's a strike complete. He's down. Troy's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Fires out quickly to the tailback. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. That makes it first and goal. The offense looking here to exercise any red zone demons they might have after throwing an interception on their last trip. And he's tackled right away. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. Troy with a one-point lead. He gets rid of this one. Fourth down. This one should be makeable. Kicks up, and he got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 28. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. They'll bring him down at the 27. Loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. We've played a half of football here. The Trojans lead it by four. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. The passing numbers put up in the first half are hardly gaudy. Less than six yards per pass for these two teams. So you look at it and you want your quarterback to take care of the ball. I, turnovers are killers. I yep. get that. A little, but, too, a little too conservative in the first half. The quarterback, you want him to be a little bit more aggressive out there? But this? if you're not, then it's going to make it extremely easy on the defense. And I say that because... If you don't push the ball down the field, I don't have to respect the whole field. There's a reason the field's 52-plus yards wide and 100 yards long. I mean, if you make me honor that and you, you, make it, you throw it down the field 30 or 40 yards and you make me run all the way down there and cover that area as well, it makes it a lot harder on a defense. Right now, the passes are so short, you're only making me cover 30, 40 yards. It makes it easy on a defense. The pass rush, you get your hands up and try to deflect balls. You know the ball's coming out early. It makes everything extremely simple on a defense when you make passes just dink and dunk, dink and dunk. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Brad and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. Boy, I hope the second half's as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. Dunlap fields at the goal line. At the 30. Oh, it's the kicker that comes up with a tackle. 
They're ready to begin another drive. Troy is up four. He sails it long. Tackle around the 26-yard line. Pierce brings him down with the 26-yard line. First down. He's taken down around the 18-yard line. That's a gain of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. Nice run there. The ball carrier. That's a gain of seven on the play. First down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. It's the tackle. Gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Touchdown, Troy! This back has great vision, which allows him to make runs like this one we just saw. He makes the PAT. Wilson fields it at the one. Tackle made at the 27-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tackle after a decent pickup. Second and three. Up the middle for a nice game. That makes it first and ten. And down he goes around the 49 yard line. It's second and two. He's on the run. Gains his way to the 43 yard line. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. From the 43 yard line. First down. He fights forward to about the 40. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. 41's coming. 41's a mic. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Here's the halfback on the screen. And he's taken down around the 27-yard line. Please. 
How about the quarterback after he threw that football? He's running over to get ready to make the tackle, and the defender drops the football. The quarterback and the offense caught a break there. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a game of four on the play. That makes it 30 more. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that is make the catch. And he tacks on the extra point. Boise State to kick. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Kirk, not sure what went on in the locker room at halftime, but both offenses have really come ready to play in this third quarter. I think that's really what separates a good team from a great team, is being able to make the adjustments at halftime and come out and, and being able to execute. And so far, we've seen both these offenses able to do that. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Troy is up by four. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. And they finally make the stop at the 46-yard line. First down. Bring him down in the backfield. That'll bring up second and 15. From their own 49 yard line, second down. Makes it out to about the 43. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Tackle made around the 31-yard line. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. They come out in a five-wide set. Tackle after a decent run up the gun. That makes it second and six. And they'll get him in the backfield. They'll line it up again on third down. Backs got it on the quick throw. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. <laughs> Troy holds a four-point lead. It's up, and he just drilled it from long range. Has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Makes it out to about the 39. That brings up second and one. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's good for a game of five yards. That'll move the chance for another Boise State. 
First down. He fights forward to about the 46. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. The Broncos quarterback down there on the sideline, and Kirk, you and I talked to him earlier this week, and he is really the main cog in this offense. Doesn't look like he's in that much pain right now. They need him back on the field before this one's over. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. The defense was able to keep him out of the end zone on their last possession, but the offense did pick up three. Troy is up by a touchdown. And he's tackled at the 30. Horton makes the tackle at the 30-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. He fights forward to about the 33. That's good for a gain of three yards. That makes it first and 10. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Makes the tackle. Call it a gain of six yards. That brings up second and five. Got a man tackled for a loss. From their own 35-yard line, it's third down. He zips it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Wilson awaiting the return. And he's taken down at the 29. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. That makes it second and two. He's tackled at the 39. Here's a run. And they get nice yardage on that run. And they make the stop at about the 47 yard line. Forty-seven yard line. Number thirty tackles him in the backfield. Forty-seven yard line. That brings up third and ten. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the thirty-seven. He's pushed out of bounds around the forty-yard line. Fourth and three. He gets it up. 
No good. He missed it to the right. So they come up empty-handed there. Kickers have to have a short memory. Just go out and make the next one. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Troy is up a score. Quick pass. They'll bring him down around the 43-yard line. One more quarter of action remaining, and this one has been a real treat. 27-20, Trojans. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. He's scrambling. Tackle around the 46 yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Number 58 with the tackle at the 41 yard line. That makes it second and six. He's on the run. And they got him. That was a loss of one yard. That would end up third and six. It out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down at the 37 yard line. That'll bring up fourth and one. Fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. Kicks away. No good. He hooked it left. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a game of four in the play. That makes it second and six. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That'll bring up third and four. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And down he goes, the 47-yard line. And he is drilled at the 45. That makes it second and eight. I got you, 88. I got you. I got you. Check, check. Disco Raver. Check, Disco Raver. Disco Raver. Nice run there. That's good for a gain of four yards. Third down. And they got him for a loss. Hopefully he's going to be okay. That makes it fourth and four. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. 41's coming. 41's the mic. Come to Bob Work. He's got it out to his tight end. He gets hit out of bounds at the 29-yard line. This one's going deep to the end zone. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. That makes it second and ten. This is the ninth play of this drive. Gets to about the 27 yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That makes it 37. Check, check, check. Check three, 
And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Well, they're looking for another fourth down conversion. They've already gotten one this drive. And he's immediately tackled. Sets them up with a first and goal. That's good enough for it's first and goal, and they need a touchdown. They'll drop him for a loss. That brings up second and goal. Defense stacked in tight here. Touchdown, Broncos. There are some guys, when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. We'll be tied with the extra point, and he hits the PAT. Boise State kicked this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one-quarter game now. Every possession is vital. He gets to about the 34-yard line. That brings up second and one. Takes a handoff inside and stopped immediately. He fires this one. Nice catch on that one. And they finally push him out at the 35. First down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Makes it out to about the 26. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That makes it second and two. They come out on an empty backfield. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Call it a gain of six yards. That makes it first and ten. After a decent pickup. Gain of five yards. That makes it second and six. From the 15 yard line, it's second down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gain of four on the play. That'll bring up third and two. Less than three minutes in the game. Looks for his tight end over the middle. And he's taken down at the six-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Just throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. And this is the 10th play of the drive. And he hits him hard at the 10-yard line. That makes it third and goal. Well, it's third and goal, and they're 10 yards out. Touchdown, Trojans!
And he converts the extra point. It was an 11-play, 75-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. So the score now, 34-27. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Wilson fields it at the three, and down he goes at the 34. Boise State's ranking, that doesn't mean anything right now. Now they've not played up to their expectations at all, but they have the football here late in the game. They're very fortunate to still have a chance to maybe win it because they've not looked like themselves. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Quick throw to the tight end. Tackle made around the 41-yard line. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. But somehow, he's able to throw the ball away. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. He's knocked out of bounds right around midfield. Short pass, middle of the field. And he's tackled at the 42. Second and one. Caught, and that's a first down. He's tackled at the 36. That'll move the chains for another Boise State. First down. That's a great tackle at the 44 yard line. The Broncos will use their first time out of the half. So the sack makes this a second and long. Tackled right away. Boise State will take their second time out of the half. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. Touchdown, Boise State. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he tacks on the extra point. Late in the fourth quarter, and with that score, we are now tied. And the way things are going, we might be going to an extra session or two. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer. And that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. Young with the tackle at the 31 yard line. That'll make it second and four. Under a minute left in the game. it out to the wide out and he's got the first and he shoved out of bounds at about the 41 10 yards first down it's first and 10 ball on the 41 they'll have one more chance for the end zone
So it looks like four quarters wasn't enough. We're heading to overtime. Back to the action here, and we get ready for overtime. Three down, three down. Five's the fight. Five's the fight. Let's go. Flats, it's the run. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. And they make the stop at the 16-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He's going left. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Check four, check four. Get down. Goes for the touchdown, and it's going to be an interception. First and 10, ball on the 25. He throws left. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. Of 18 on the play. That makes it first and goal. Let's go! Get to our Philly! Get to our Philly! And he's hit immediately. That's a loss of about five. That play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the 12. And they get nice yardage on that run. Call it a gain of five yards. That makes it third and goal. And he tackles him hard at the 11. Drop back four yards on that one. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. So the kicker comes on to try to win this game in overtime. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, Troy, 37, Boise State, 34. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.